In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Bridge update, so Bridge version 19. This is a very exciting update because we've added the Elementor page builder. So Bridge now comes with two popular page builders, WordPress Bakery and Elementor. So in this video, we're going to talk about some changes that come with the latest Bridge. First of all, if you're using an older version of Bridge, we recommend checking out our video on how to update your theme. So after updating Bridge to the latest version, you will see some changes in the admin panel. Code options is now here near the top of the admin panel. And we have this new tab called Bridge Dashboard. So let's go ahead and click on it. Over here, you will be asked to register your theme. So here you should enter your purchase code and email. I'm going to go ahead and quickly do that. As per Theme Forest rules, one theme license is required for one domain. So if you wish to use your bridge license on a different site later on, here you will need to deregister your theme. And after deregistering, you will be able to register it on a different site. Under the registration section, we have a section called system information. And over here, you will see an overview of your current server configuration. This is particularly useful if you want to import demo content. For demo import, we do recommend having certain settings on your server. So if your server settings do not meet the minimum recommendations, here you will see warnings. All right, now let's go back to Bridge Dashboard. I'm going to click on the System Info tab. Over here, you will see additional information about your site. Here we can see that I'm using the Bridge theme and that it's on version 19. As for Demo Import, it's now located here under Bridge Dashboard. So let's click on Import. We've improved the Demo Import user interface. Here at the top, you will now see a filter that you can use to filter the demos by category. You can also search the demos by keyword. As I previously said, Bridge now comes with the Elementor page builder. So if you would like to import a demo that was built using Elementor, you can click on the Elementor tab. So all of these demos were created using Elementor and we plan on adding additional demos in future theme updates. The remaining demos that are not listed here, they were built using WordPress Bakery. So now I'm going to go ahead and import one of these demos that were built using Elementor. Let's click on this demo here. Over here, we can see a list of plugins that are required for you to install and activate before importing that particular demo. And as we can see, it's asking us to install Elementor. So let's go ahead and click on that. Elementor is installed, so I'm going to activate it. And now let's go back to demo import. Once again, I'm going to click on the demo. For import type, I'm going to set all. Import attachments is set to yes. And I'm going to go ahead and import. In this video, we're not going to cover demo import in detail. So if you would like to learn more about importing demo content, we recommend checking out our video on demo import. In that video, we talk about what you should do before importing a demo, what to do after importing your demo, and we also cover some troubleshooting tips. So if this is your first time that you're importing a bridge demo site, please check out our video on how to import demo content. The demo import has now completed, so let's go ahead and view a page. Elementor is a front-end page builder, so when I enter a page, there's not much to be seen. So let's click on Edit with Elementor. So here we are. This is what editing with Elementor looks like. On the right, we see the page, and on the left, you will see a sidebar with widgets. So Elementor is a drag and drop page builder. You can simply drag the widgets onto your page and you will immediately see what they look like. 
Let's go back now. I'm going to click on plugins. So when you're building your site, we recommend that you choose either the WordPress Bakery page builder or the Elementor page builder and that you deactivate the one that you're not using. This is for your site speed, because if you have both page builders activated at the same time, that can significantly slow down your site. Looking at my plugins here, we can see that Elementor is activated and WordPress Bakery is deactivated, so that looks good. On the other hand, if you're using WordPress Bakery, we recommend keeping Elementor deactivated. Also, all the elements that come with Bridge, they are available with both WordPress Bakery and with Elementor. So it doesn't really matter which page builder you're using, you can use all of these elements with either page builder. And finally, if you already have a website that was built using WordPress Bakery, we do not recommend switching to Elementor because you will not be able to edit content that was built with WordPress Bakery. So if you do want to use Elementor, we recommend using it on your next project. So that brings this video to a wrap. We talked about the latest bridge update in a nutshell. If you have any questions about the latest bridge, you can ask us in the comment section. And if you have any topics that you would like to see covered in upcoming video tutorials, you can also let us know in the comments. Thank you for watching.